The International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, has expressed concerns about the situation of internally displaced persons in Medjugorje after the federal government's decision to close camps for the group in the state. The committee, in a statement signed by its public relations officer, Aliyu Dawobe, explained that the IDPs are extremely vulnerable as they have lost their belongings and livelihood, which might make reintegration back into the society difficult. ICRC further maintained that some families are willing to go back to their homes, but fear for their safety as well as the lack of access to basic amenities has also made resettlement difficult. Well, joining me to discuss this further is the Public Relations Officer, ICRC in Nigeria, Lucian Christian. Thank you very much for joining us on News Now. Now, please share with us um, ICRC's concerns for Nigeria's internally displaced persons. Uh, do you think these groups of people are more vulnerable now? Thank you very much. Uh, as your introduction clearly stated, those those persons have been uh, displaced sometimes many uh, on several occasions, fleeing the conflict in the northeast Nigeria. Uh, most of them have lost their belongings, their sources of income, uh, and they are in those camps without access to basic needs such as food, water, healthcare. Uh, they, it's estimated that 2.2 million are currently being displaced in northeast Nigeria and the vast majority, over half of them, are children and women. So when we look into healthcare, uh, our teams in the field have observed an increase of cases of malnutrition, especially among the children under five. Uh, women that are pregnant also face uh, sometimes complications. Uh, so yes, these people are extremely vulnerable. Um, they have also often lost some family members that they're trying to search through our services. Uh, uh, so yes, the, the needs are huge um, and, and the solution needs to be fine. Now, in its defense, um, the federal government of Nigeria said that IDPs, uh, IDP camps are temporary, but what more do you think uh, could be done to ensure a smooth transition uh, back to society, especially since some of these areas are still battling insecurity? Yes, you, you are right. Look, uh, not later than last weekend, the vice president of the ICRC, uh, Mr. Gilles Carbonnier, visited Bama camp uh, close to Maiduguri, uh, as well as Gubio camp in Maiduguri. The main concern the family shared, the one that are willing to return to their home, of course, after sometimes years of displacement, is the security. They want to go back home, but they want to do it uh, in a secure and dignified way. Now, the second issue that they, they raised to, to, to our uh, delegation is the lack of uh, food, water and health care. So for them to be able to go back home and, and to rebuild their lives, to rebuild their sources of income and livelihood, durable solution needs to be fine. Our organization in, is working towards this. For example, in Maiduguri, we have uh, uh, developed the, the one of the water system to allow over 83,000 people to access uh, fresh drinking water. We support an hospital. Uh, we provide essential ice, uh, household items to the, to the people that are being displaced. But the main um, interrogation we have now is uh, how will uh, we be able to access these people if they go in areas that are not secure. Well, Lucian Christian, PRO International Committee of the Red Cross in Nigeria, thank you very much for your time.